Hi, welcome to the explanation video for the Wavelinks puzzle. If you haven't had a go at solving it yourself yet, skip this video as I'm about to spoil all the fun details of the solution. When you first open your Wavelinks package, you will find two linked donuts. When you take them out of the package, be careful the puzzle doesn't fall apart by itself as you're going to want to study this form a little bit. If you take one of the donuts and hold it at your fingertips like this and begin rolling them between your thumb and fingers, you'll have this kind of emotion. Pay attention to the yin-yang dovetail link at the top. This feeling is essentially how the solution feels, but with all four pieces at the same time. If you rotate it more, the pieces will come apart. Trying to put it back together into the donut shape is good practice for later on, as you'll begin to understand how the four pieces rotate into each other. The best way to think about it is to have the two C's face the same direction, and you're going to slot this stem here into the hole right here. So if we slot it in and rotate at the same time, it should go in. You might slip a bit like this, but if you do, just realign the stem and the hole and it should go right in like this. So now let's separate all the pieces and make sure they're all facing the same direction, which will make following this tutorial a bit easier. You can see that all four pieces are identical. A thing to take note of though, is that each piece has two wave patterns. One on the front side bottom here, and one on the back side top right here. These two waves are actually slightly different. If I show you the bottom, you can see that these two waves are exactly the same. But if I flip one upside down, you can see here that the top wave comes in from a different direction. And the orientation matters a bit later on for the pre-assembly form. Now we need to build two pre-assembly forms that rotate into each other. The easiest way is to have two pieces facing the same direction with the same wave at the bottom. We'll take one piece and flip it so it faces the other. And what we're going to do is slide one into the other so it sits like this. You'll know you're in the right position when the stems are aligned right there. So this part and this part. And this connection here feels smooth. So if I flip this piece upside down and do it the wrong way, even if I try and line up the stems like this, it doesn't feel like they belong because there isn't a smooth connection here. Now that's one of our pre-assembly forms and we need to do the same with the black pieces. So same again, lay them in front of you, same direction, waves are the same, flip one to face the other one, and you need to put them into each other. If you do it like this, it's a little difficult as it's going to get stuck. A good way to think about it is to keep the left one parallel to the table and the right one perpendicular. As it goes in, rotate, and now they're in. So again, keep the stems in line and this part is a nice smooth connection. Now to connect the pieces, what's essentially going to happen is they're going to rotate into each other at the same time. The tricky part is keeping the stems aligned whilst you're holding onto all four pieces. With a bit of practice, you'll find a position that's comfortable for you. So we're going to get the stem at the bottom right here to attach into the hole here. So keep this aligned, rotate it. Okay, and there we go. If it gets stuck, it means a stem is misaligned. But if everything is in line, you can see that everything quite nicely rotates into each other. And keep going, keep going, and there we go. And that's how you solve the Wavelinks puzzle. To disassemble the puzzle, it's essentially the reverse of what we just did. So if we hold the pieces like this and try and rotate like we did with the donut at the start, there's a stem that tries to poke out in the center right there. And we need to line that stem up with one of the yin yang holes here. So we just need to find the right section to go in. We can see that if we line it up here and do this, it doesn't really want to fall, which means that this is the wrong connection or hole to go through. So if we rotate it to the other side, this one, if I do it now, if everything is in line, you can see that it naturally wants to come apart and you just follow the rotation out and there we go. We are back to the pre-assembly forms. And that's how to assemble and disassemble the Wavelinks puzzle. It's a really fun motion to play with, but I think watching someone else try to solve it is part of the fun. And now you know how you can be the one to share the solution with somebody else.